Hi right, guys, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a, uh, a new series I'm doing every Thursday. Uh, it's going to be called Thursday's Tool Review. So basically, I'm just buying tools, uh, tools I've already owned, tools that I've used, um, some tools that I haven't used, and I will be doing a review of these tools. I'm not sponsored by any of these tools. Uh, these tool companies. I do, however, get some tools from one of the companies, um, but uh, you'll probably see them in the background. I won't really review them on this. This is going to be all tools that I've purchased and I've bought. So I have bought a couple tools from the company that does give me tools, and if you watch my other channels or my other videos, you'll, you'll know what tools I'm talking about. So this is going to be every Thursday, so make sure you guys check them all out. So I'm going to start with a video um, and keep the series going. So that's uh, what we're going to do. All right, welcome back to the channel, guys. Half past 719. It's a Thursday tool review. So uh, I got a couple tools I want to review. It's actually a lot of tools, a lot of stuff um, to go over. And uh, basically, it's electric cordless tools. So, bring you down here real quick. I'll show you. So, this is my toolbox, my US General toolbox, which will be in a later review. Um, this is my little cordless tool drawer, I guess you could say. So, I got battery chargers, the Milwaukee uh, M12, and the DeWalt. All I have is the 20 volt stuff. So this is one of them that I'm going to do. And uh, this little sawzall is pretty awesome. I use that a lot. Um, I have an oscillating tool. These drill bits suck. We'll do a review on that. So I have this little oscillating tool. Um, I used it once. And that's why I was saying... Uh, the beginning of this uh, some of these tools I never use some of them I use a lot I do use the drill and the uh, impact but I like using these little ones because they're compact um, I think I'm using the drill somewhere else um, so anyway I like using the little 12 volt ones because, like I said they're light and compact okay so uh, let me get you guys up here and we'll start with these uh, tools real quick so what we got here is this little ratchet <clears throat> so I bought this ratchet so I bought this this and I think it was a impact drill so it was this let me go get the drill hold on not prepared as usual. Always not prepared. That's, that's my that's my mo because I use my tools and I got this. So all four of these I bought. So all four of these I bought at the same time. Um, I bought them from Home Depot in Colorado when I started my business. So I used this little drill. Like every every day I use this. I use that because I was adjusting windows and everything. So great little impact tool. Um, it did come with, I think it came with one of these batteries. One of these batteries and two of these little batteries. Um, I can't remember the amp hours. Two amp hours and this is, uh, I thought they used to say on there. Let's see, let's see. I'm reading, guys. I'm reading. Bear with me. It does not say. It doesn't say. Um, anyway, uh, I thought there were four amp hours. They probably are four amp hours. Um, but yeah, it doesn't say. It's not saying anything. Anyway, so it came with one of those and uh, two of the regular, regular batteries. So, um, these tools, I use this drill a lot. Um, this is the brushless. Actually, you know what? I take that back. I didn't buy this one. I bought a brushless one. 
<sighs> See, I'm prepared as usual. Let me grab the brush with <sighs> I should probably actually use this one and put that one away. So anyways, this is the brushless I bought. So I bought this, this, and this. So I'm going to put this one away. I don't know why I stopped using this one. But anyway, when I first started my business, um, I was using this impact driver every day. Probably 40, 50 times a day to adjust windows, to unscrew the locks and all that stuff. Uh, the locks on windows were not adjusted properly from factory, so I had to go in and adjust them. So, yeah, speed one, speed two. Um, yeah, I don't know why I put the wrong one away, but anyway, bought these. I bought all of this here for $149. Uh, it was a returned set. Um, it was originally. I want to say this was originally like $399, 400 bucks for all this stuff. Uh, but anyway, so I use, used to use that a lot. Now I use them barely. Um, I use the Sawzall a lot. This ratchet, I use all the time. This is my go-to tool. I use this. I use it everywhere. Every, every time I take it to the junkyard with me, I take it, I use, this is my go-to tool. I do, however, want to get the newer style ones that have more torque. But this one, I think it's torque ratings like 15 foot-pounds of torque. And uh, it's perfect for small bolts and stuff. And it just always works. Always, always works. So let's get to this here. This is my half-inch impact by DeWalt. I bought this at the swap meet with a battery, which I don't know which battery it was, but it was one of these batteries, a little one or two amp hour batteries. So I bought it. He wanted 50 bucks and I offered him 30 bucks and he said, yeah. So it came just like this and it worked. It is a brushed. I do like the brushed motors better than the brushless. Uh, brushless. Uh, if you're working next to high power voltage, the brushless seem to just stop working, um, which I don't really work around. Um, but I like the brush because they can get wet. You can put this thing underwater and run it, and it'll run just fine. The brushless, all right, battery died. So anyway, so this is my swap meet fine, 30 bucks. Um, I like the brushed motors because one, you could probably service them and change out brushes if need be. Um, it's probably cheaper and easier just to buy a new one. Um, I bought it for 30 bucks for the battery. And this at the swap meet, like I said, I buy some of my tools. Harbor Freight, swap meet, Lowe's, Home Depot, wherever, wherever I can get them and I'm in the need of tools. So anyway, I like the brush because you can basically just... It's just bulletproof. It's an old system. It works. It's great. It's always going to work. Um, this is my 3 8 inch drive. 20 volt, as you can see. I use it. Everything's coming apart. Brushed. Um, because brush is more reliable than brushless. And uh, I think you can get more torque <clears throat> and better life out of a brush than a brushless. Um... Anyway, uh, yeah, so these two right here, this one I did get on eBay. I bought it on eBay as a tool only, so it didn't come with a battery. It was just the tool. It was brand new from a, a guy who bought a set. He bought a complete set and uh, whatever. They like to part them out because they can make more money. So Anyway, 
three eighths. I used to use this one a ton, a ton, a lot. And then ever since I got the half inch, I've been using the half inch. So anyway, and then also have my 20 volt DeWalt grinder. It's not the brushless. It's not the XR as I guess you guys, as they're called. Oh, and I do like the fact that these are the compact ones. Uh, the big ones, the big huge ones, half inch drive. Um, I think you get more torque and everything out of it, but um, I don't like the big bulky tools. My brother's got the Milwaukee big 18 volt huge tools and I hate those tools. I like to be able to try to get into some spots. His big old thing you can't use and whatever. So I, if I have to, I just break it loose with a wrench or a socket then zip it off. So anyway, it's a grinder, no big deal, I got it for free, um, Home Depot had a deal, you buy a, uh, uh, I think a 4 amp hour battery and charger, and you get a tool for free, and this was the tool I picked, um, and I use this thing all the time, doesn't look like it, um, but I do use it for all my metal cutting, all my grinding, uh, Everything and anything. That was loud. Anything and everything I use it for, I can. I use it. It does go through batteries quite fast. So I do use my uh, bigger batteries. Um, I think this is a uh, yeah 4 amp hour battery. I think that's, that might be the battery I bought with it. And then here's a uh, another 4 amp hour battery. I use my 4 amp hour batteries with that and that. Um, I do have a bunch of batteries, a 2 amp battery, 2 amp hour battery, 3 amp hour battery. Um, but yeah, basically my DeWalt set, I like my DeWalt set a lot. And I have, <sighs> I don't know what's that. I have a uh, circular saw that is brushless that I did buy from Home Depot when I went to Colorado and started my business. So anyway, um, but yeah, so that's going to be this week's tool, Thursday tool review. Um, these are tools I use, um, like you've seen in there. I don't really use that oscillating tool. I mainly bought it for my wife um, and she hasn't used it. So, but yeah, so that's the tool for tool talk for this Thursday and uh, stay tuned for next week to watch next week's tool talk. Um, pretty cool little tool. Um, I've always wanted one. I uh, haven't used it, but I've always wanted one and there was a sale and I bought it. So, all right guys, thank you for watching. Comment below if you guys want to see a tool. If you see a tool that I use or I have laying around my shop shop um let me know what you guys uh want to hear about it or if you want me to review it all right guys thanks for watching comment below like do what you guys do later